Hey guys, just want to show you, I just received my seatbelts finally. I think it took two and a half months, but I'm installing them and I want to go over a couple of things in case any of you guys are doing this because there's literally no instructions at all that come with them. And I couldn't really find much online as well. So this is the passenger side seatbelt I already installed. A um, couple things, when you get them, you want to turn the belts around in you want to flip them around so that way the orientation of everything there's no kinks in the belt you know and you can easily do that by turning this around in here so that way the belt is facing this way and then also you can take off this black plastic cover and flip the belt as well you'll you'll kind of know what i mean when you get them otherwise they're going to be all twisted because this bracket mounts as you see it here okay you have, it comes with an L bracket, which is right here. You want, obviously it's to the outside, so it's going this way and then up. You want this to be the long end. Otherwise it just won't fit. If you put the other way and you put the long end down here and the short end, it won't line up. So just put it to the outside, long end, and then short end. Also, I had to use all my original hardware. The hardware that it comes with, it doesn't work the holes are too big it's a different it's a different size so i use all my existing hardware for here which is you know on the, on the on the bottom that goes into the floor of the cab as well as the uh the bolt the original bolt that goes in here so this thing can move you know you need this thing to twist obviously so just as a heads up the hardware that it comes with just remove it all you need at least in my case in my 79 you needed the original hardware for there at the top as well as the bottom now this p this hardware you can use because it the way i did it is the bolt goes in the back side and you have room under there Can't, it doesn't look it but you do to tighten this bolt so i did the bolt a washer and then it went through the l bracket um i put the other belt on this belt here so it's all nice and even as you can see it all lines up nice so that goes in, and then the lock washer, and then the, uh, the, uh, the nut here, and tighten it all down. Uh, this can, you can turn this before you tighten it to line it up. I don't have my seats in yet, so I may have to adjust this later to just kind of turn this a little bit. But right now, um, that's how I got it in, and everything's all snug now. So just as a heads up, I hope that clears some of the uh, confusion up with these belts. And then obviously this would come down. Okay, and then connect into, I know this is kind of tight in here, guys, sorry. And here is the lap bolt mounted, which you can see here, which once I gets the bench seat in, it'll just go within the bench seat. And then this will obviously connect into it, like you see. So right now I'm doing the other side and you can see I'm already putting the bolt in there, the original hardware bolt. I already turned, twisted the belt around so it's all lines up. And then I'll mount that one as well. So any questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, just, a, just a heads up, hopefully uh, you kind of understand. And like I said, you just got to twist the belts around. You can do that in the main in there. So you just turn it around and then as well as in that buckle as well. So that way they're all lined up. I mean, you don't have to do that, you know, but they'll, they'll just look all twisted. And I don't think, uh, you know, that looks kind of cool. Okay, guys, continue on here. Later. One more thing. I just finished getting this side installed. One more thing I want to point out. On this bracket, the little L bracket that it comes with, um, you're going to use the short bolt um, that comes with it, not the longer bolt, just as a heads up. Also, you're going to notice that there's no right or left on these these pieces here so one side you're going to see how it's orientated this way and then the other side it's like the other way i kind of wish there was a right and a left just so it would be a little bit more uniform not only that like on this side when it's sitting like this it sits nice and straight because this knob part here doesn't interfere with the back side of the wall of the cab here but you can see when it's flipped around, which you have no choice in the matter, you can see how it's a little cocked to the side. It's a little angled. 
and that's because of this bracket part is hitting the back side. So hopefully, I don't think that will really interfere with the, with the movement of the belt, but just to give you a heads up on that too, I don't really, I really wish this was a right and a left design. Another thing too, is I ordered the, the blue belts from LMC and the original belts were light blue. And you can see these are like a dark, they almost look black on camera, but they're not, they're like a navy blue. I don't really understand that. I, I really wish they were light blue to match, you know, the rest of the interior, but I guess it is what it is. Maybe the contrast won't be so bad, but I mean, they look totally black on camera, obviously, but they are like a navy blue. And that's the only blue they have. It's the code LL from uh, LMC. So just another heads up, you might notice the same. I don't know if other colors are off too, if you order the burgundy or the tan, if you're gonna get like a darker tan instead of the lighter tan or, you know, with the burgundy. So that's all. Talk to you later, guys. I uh, finally finished the interior. I'm really excited about it. I got her out right now. I'm just taking her for a run. But I'm pretty happy the way it came out. Um, so I never did really a walk around. So here it is. So right now I have these are 20 inch boss rims on it. I also upgraded the brakes to a Willwood caliper, both front and rear. Truck used to have drum brakes. Um, also went with. Um, Kind of a side exhaust look instead of the out the back kind of deal. I rolled the um, the bumper, put a roll pan on, and right now it's on a full link um, Ride Technologies suspension. You can kind of see underneath. Maybe I can get a little closer. Here. They got adjustable shocks on it as well. Here's the other side. You can't really tell in the photo, but um, the color is actually a pearl white from a uh, Lexus. I think it's called Starfire, Starfire Pearl. So it's just got like a real subtle hint of pearl in the uh, the trunk. The uh, the hood has been all lubed out. It's kind of an old school look, I like that. I do need to upgrade the headlights. Those are still the factory headlights, they're like really yellow. And I obviously changed out the grill. And take a look inside. This is the seat my father actually found, I think in a junkyard. I cleaned it up quite a bit, came out pretty nice. We did all the door panels, the dash, the gauges, uh, those are Dakota digital gauges in it. Steering column, wheel, pedals, put all new carpeting in it. And uh, the new radio, which I can kind of show you the new radio right there. It's from um, Retro Sound, installed really easy. I definitely highly recommend if anybody's looking to uh, upgrade their stereo. Uh, to look at that and I got the seat belts in to show you finally this thing never had seat belts it had a driver's side seat belt that didn't work so the only thing I'm not too happy with is the, the color blue I was hoping there's gonna be a lighter blue but you can see how they they are so plans are to put a wood bed in it um, have to still do that and I might swap out the seat later on I don't know and maybe even change out the door panels uh, to something a little more modern maybe I I'm not really sure right now so let's give it a start
give updates on the truck as I go along. Uh, when I get that wood bed in, I'll um, kind of do a step-by-step -step on how that goes in. Again, the company's from, I believe it's called, ooh, now I, now I forget, Hawkeys. That's the name of it, Hawkeys. They make a, a wood bed called a show deck. So I'm going to do that. I'm still undecided on the stain, whether it's a blue or a brown stain. So that's it, guys. See you soon. Later.